Well, today we're turning the compost windrows here at Halmar's farm. My son Ben is home a few days off from serving on the police department where he works and uh, he decided he'd tackle this job today and he's having his brother help him out just to make sure that sometimes we have trouble turning a large windrow like this uh, our windrow turner won't track quite straight so today Ben hitched up our logging winch to the right hand side of the turner and his brother Justin is keeping tension on the cable from the winch to keep the right hand side of the turner going straight instead of letting the turner twist which it sometimes does when we're turning a large windrow. So as you can see it's uh, good and hot. Uh, this is the compost windrow we normally sell to the gardeners in the springtime so there's a lot of bedding especially sawdust in this windrow and the more carbon source the more sawdust or hay you have in your windrow uh, the hotter it's going to get. So Ben and Justin are working at turning that. We'll just have a look and see how hot this pile is. I put my compost thermometer in and it looks like it's uh, running at just under 130 degrees. So actually we'll probably check it tomorrow and that will probably be even hotter tomorrow. I wouldn't surprise if it will be up into the 140 degree range. So Ben's using our two wheel drive tractor which has a set of gears called creeper gears that allows us to pull the compost turner very slowly at under 20 feet per minute. And that lets the compost turner uh, do its thing. So it lets the drum with the knives uh, work into the pile well, remix the material in the windrow and then form it into a nice cone shaped windrow. So I'll leave the boys out here turning. Uh, we started milking so I'm going to duck back into the milking parlor and get the girls milk. And they should be done turning the windrow. Oh, it's probably another 5-10 minutes they'll be done. So we'll turn this through the summer. Start putting the compost cover on at some point. And then in the spring we'll have some nice fine compost for our gardeners and a little extra source of income for the farm.